Hello all, myself Abhinav Giri. I'm assistant professor in Acropolis Institute of Technology and Research in the today's topic is the vortex tube. So I have published a paper in IJSR journal. So for that, uh, I have been nom nominated for the E presentation. So this is my presentation. So uh, these are the contents for today's presentation. So vortex tube. Vortex tube is a device which is having no moving parts. It is also known as the Rankine or the Hill vortex tube. It is a thermal device which generate two streams. One is hot stream and another is cold stream. And it is from the single inlet or the input which we are giving it from the compressor. So air is injected into the vortex tube tangentially and because of the centrifugal action of the air around the periphery of the vortex tube the air sizes to rotate and it rotates at very high speed because the air enters into the nozzle or the vortex from the nozzle into the vortex tube at very higher speed so the velocity which by which it is entering into the uh, vortex tube which causes the air to flow at a very higher rate inside it and because of the centrifugal action and the shape of the wall inside the vortex tube causes it to rotate at very high speed which causes a forced vortex and this forced vortex moves along the periphery of the vortex tube and reaches the end of the control wall. This wall is used to restrict the flow of air and to open as well when required so we get the temperature separation so because of this restriction there is a stagnation point and at that stagnation point there will be a reversal of flow so we will call it as forced vortex now this forced vortex comes in contact with the forward moving free vortex the energy uh, for the formation of this forced vortex is obtained by the outer moving periphery free vortex so because of that there is a uh, energy transfer from the inner core to the outer periphery which is radially outwards so we get the forced vortex as the cold stream and the outer moving free vortex at the as the hot stream so the temperature difference between the both of uh, this particular two streams is uh, from 80 to 100 degrees centigrade depending upon the equipment and depending upon the uh, geometrical parameters again the operating parameters as well so uh, in uh, this is the basic working of the vortex tube now we'll, uh, move to the next slide in this uh, you will be able to see the uh, schematic uh, general schematic diagram so what I have explained right now so it is just a graphical or the pictorial representation of uh, the vortex tube so from here you will able to uh, just able to understand that how the uh, air enters and how it moves forward so uh, the yellow line uh, it represents the inlet from the inlet it is moving uh, along the wall and is entering the uh, uh, near the uh, control wall so this control wall is situated at the end so because of that there will be a reversal of flow right so uh, the outer moving uh, we, uh, the air is called is uh, called it as the free vortex and the inner uh, core is called as the forced vortex so likewise it will move so uh, because of that uh, there is a multi circulation region is also formed right and uh, because of that uh, there is a transfer of energy so uh, this is the uh, this is a very complex phenomena so likewise we are getting the hot and cold stream so these are some of the literature reviews so here uh, many uh, researchers uh, worked on this particular equipment uh, yampang zui uh, has done a lot of work uh, in the uh, development of vortex vortex tube and in that uh, some of his journals uh, he has mentioned uh, regarding uh, the uh, behavioral of uh, the flow of the vortex tube through uh, the different types of inlets right uh, different types of uh, uh, nozzle inlet different types of dimension of uh, uh, the 
uh, cylindrical uh, cylinder uh, the uh, dimensions of the cylinder and uh, he has used different types of uh, modes of uh, gases like he has used hydrogen water operated vortex tube and other types of gases air as well so uh, some of his uh, uh, contribution uh, has uh, led us to reach somewhere so uh, again uh, young pang zoe uh, has done a lot of work with water operated you can see in the first uh, table and the uh, second one again it is yampang zui who has done the effect of uh, the vortex angle so uh, it's again it states that the vortex angle, angle should be minimum so this will help us to uh, reach the maximum temperature difference again uh, the uh, flow which is entering into the nozzle it should be at the very bare minimum angle the lower will be the angle the higher will be the uh, uh, means velocity the air will get the higher will be the velocity the more amount of energy will be there within the air so that they can uh, transfer the uh, energy right and we can get the thermal separation so uh, again uh, this is a huge amount of uh, work he has done now again it is a uh, uh, modification in the experimental research on vortex tube is done by uh, uh, yu ding and in this particular uh, Uh, paper he has done a uh, three major innovative techniques he has applied he has used a new nozzle with the uh, uh, new gradient mac number and he has uh, he had a new intake flow passage of the nozzles with equal flow velocities and he has designed that and uh, he has designed to reduce the frictional losses and he has seen the behavior and there was there was the remarkable achievement by that so again uh, the next paper was done by the experimental investigation on of the performance of franken hills vortex tube with regard to the plug located at the hot outlet so again so uh, this is a again uh, here he has used the different uh, positions effects of the positions of the diameters right so uh, he has just changed the diameters from 5 6 7 and 8 and he has used the different angles cone angles he has used so what what is the uh, velocity that we are getting at the hot end and again the, what is the effect on the thermal separation so he has studied that so uh, again the paper was given by kiran devade on the effect of the cold orifice diameter and the geometry of the hot end walls on the performance of the converging type prankine hills vortex tube so it is used in this paper uh, he is he has used to increase the mass flow rate of the air incoming outlet at the low temperature a converging type of uh, vortex tube he has used he has a new type of vortex tube he has modified that vortex tube he has done a convergent uh, type of uh, vortex tube so that uh, it will work as a nozzle and we are getting the very high velocity at the hot end so because of this high velocity again will be having so much of energy that is uh, that we are having the capability of uh, that particular equipment to convert it into our uh, thermal separation needs so uh, again uh, he has seen the very remarkable effect and he has uh, got the uh, efficiency near about 102% that is a very remarkable achievement so these are certain papers uh, that has published by different uh, researchers that uh, i have mentioned in the paper as well so uh, here uh, what i have referred here there are certain uh, explanations given by the different researcher here so uh, from this literature review i have uh, just sorted out certain uh, remarkable achievements and the noteworthy contribution of uh, some of the Uh, authors that has really contributed uh, to the development of the vortex tubes so uh, we will quickly see that so these are some of the noteworthy contributions uh, given by uh, the researchers again yampang zui is the main contributor is found uh, there is no outward energy transfer in the hot region of the vortex tube using exergy analysis of the flow properties in the air operated vortex tube that was the very important thing then uh, again uh, yampang zui and mazir aruz mendi found that vortex angle plays an important role in the separation of the cold and hot flows 
and the votex tube performance the third uh, noteworthy contribution uh, was given by k dinser and others uh, which is investigated that the uh, maximum uh, difference in the temperature of the hot and the cold streams was obtained from for the plug diameter of 5 mm tip angles of 300 and 600 four nozzles and uh, by keeping the plug location at far extreme end so uh, he has given that uh, the plug diameter should be 5 mm tip angle should be 300 and 600 the uh, the cone angle will say of the uh, hot outlet should be uh, 300 and 600 and it should be located the far away from the inlet so it will give us which is the required result so uh, mh uh, saidi and uh, walipur found that the optimum value for l by d ratio again l by d is a very important term that is length by diameter ratio which is should, should be between 20 and 55 and the cold air orifice diameter is 0.5 so which is just uh, beside of the inlet uh, where uh, from where the cold stream will flow so because of that there is a sudden uh, pressure drop and because of that we are getting the uh, cold air uh, from the other side of the outlet of the vortex tube so uh, karthik investigated that the result obtained by pvc as the material provides similar output to that of the test conducted by the pioneer scientists uh, such as hilk and renolds by increasing the mass flow rate the temperature gap increases and hence produces high cop so again mass flow rate uh, means like uh, in by increasing the mass flow rate we are nothing but increasing the cold mass fraction right so by increasing the cold mass fraction again it is having a very good impact on uh, our thermal separation effects so uh, again our aim is to get the higher uh, temperature difference so that uh, we will have a very efficient Uh, vortex tube so that our efficiency should get increase and or the efficiency or the cop of our machines uh, should get increase and there should be a reduction in the input so that is our main aim uh, from this uh, contribution that we what we have studied again uh, vortex tube is having both the things uh, uh, that is cop coefficient of performance and the efficiency generally in refrigeration equipment there is no efficiency there is only cop but Uh, in vortex tube both the parameters are uh, most important so uh, these are the certain components of the vortex tube uh, this is the diagram so uh, from uh, this is a real time diagram we'll say so here uh, there are certain uh, equipments uh, are there so it is having a generator so this generator is nothing but uh, grooves are there on the generators which is useful for the Uh, inlet no uh, air and it provides the swirl motion for to the air so air is guided by this generator so again uh, there is a washer is there a uh, cold cap is there o ring is there so from here the cold air will come out so again at the extreme right end you will see the wall is there so wall is used to that is nothing but the control wall so from where the hot gases or the hot air will come out and the compressed air supply you can see from the up, upward side so it will come inside from the compressor so this is the basic components of vortex tube so here i have just listed down the components what we have discussed uh, here here certain uh, equipments are there that is thermocouples pressure regulators connectors and digital anemometers which, which will be required for measuring measuring the temperature pressure and uh, the velocity of the air or the uh, mass flow rate of the air so uh, these are my some of the real time diagrams of the vortex tube uh, that i am currently working in so this is the actual diagram so in this way the vortex tube will uh, look like so from all these things what uh, uh, we have concluded uh, concluding that in a vortex tube the cold end and the hot end temperature as well as the adiabatic efficiency is more influenced by the inlet pressure and the mass flow rate where maximum temperature drop and rise is seen at 16.66% uh, of the control wall opening at 2.5 bar pressure again it is totally depend upon the geometrical parameters and the 
your operating parameters okay so from certain uh, parameters i have uh, uh, taken the data that this is the actual efficient vortex tube right so uh, again uh, cooling and heating capacity is a function of the mass flow rate as well as the control wall opening so again it is uh, uh, i am talking about the cold mass fraction here it is directly proportional to the mass flow rate and the temperature difference the maximum cooling as well as the heating capacity is at 16.66% of the wall opening and very near to the cold mass fraction value of 0.2 in terms of uh, pressure ratio maximum cop and temperature difference is at 16.66% of the wall opening and 2.5 of the pressure ratio which is directly confirms that the vortex gives very promising results for the value of uh, wall opening of 16.66% cold mass fraction uh, fraction of 0.2 with inlet pressure of 2.5 bar so it is very very important conclusion here uh, i have made here so uh, this is the actual values real time values so for that uh, means uh, we can get the maximum amount of efficiency for vortex tube so these are certain my references so which i have taken the data from or i have preferred this certain journals so these are my certain list of publications uh, some of my publications are under review and certain publication i have published so here i am concluding my session thank you uh, thank you for listening thank you very much